Dan, I know how hard you've worked for this. Regardless of the outcome, I want you to realize what you're doing for this sport, what you're creating for that next generation of young girls who are looking to follow in your footsteps. Talk to you soon. Bye. Women's professional hockey right now is fragmented. Having both the Canadian Women's Hockey League and the National Women's Hockey League is doing the sport a huge disservice. we need to create one league. The second year I was playing in the NWHL, it was a, an aha moment that things were not as they seemed. We're fragmenting our resources and dispersing them among two leagues. We are spreading out the level of competition, so the caliber that the fans are seeing night in and night out. And then you're making the fans choose which league they want to support and be a part of. So okay, we're gonna go fast. I left my teammates and all my friends in Boston and crossed enemy lines to try and create a more sustainable professional women's league. I moved up here to get everybody on the same page and cultivate relationships that would be beneficial for leading women's hockey in the right direction. I think it was something that needed to happen for the growth of women's hockey and then add in the fact that it was Hillary Knight was a huge thing. This American's coming to Montreal, my God. I definitely had the jokes in the back pocket for sure. I didn't particularly love her. My relationship with Hill definitely uh, depends on the color jerseys that we're wearing. But if anything, you know, when we go on the ice, we all put the same pair of skates on, and we all grab the same hockey stick, and we all have the same goal. If we're gonna succeed at building a sustainable league, we need to be one. Why not combine and work on it together to create a better future? You know, I was so naive when I graduated college. I was like, I'm going to get an agent. I'm going to do sponsorships. And I'm going to partner with all these companies. And I moved out to Boston, and it like couldn't be further from the truth. It's like, OK, now I have to give lessons. And I'd be eating like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and trying to train for the Olympics, and then going to Dunkin' Donuts at night when they would just give me all the bagels and donuts. You know, we all grew up watching the NHL. We watch the guys in the NHL. It's the best league in the world. That's where all the best players play in the world. Why isn't that the same for the women? You know, I am a professional hockey player, and I like to say that, but I don't necessarily live the life that people think. It's really visibility. People can't come and watch us and advocate for women's hockey if they don't know we exist, and that's getting us on mainstream networks. I would love for like my children or the next generation to just have a goal that I'm going to be a professional hockey player and knowing that that's going to be financially viable. I think of where our sport can be, and I look at my teammates who do have to work those second jobs and think, OK, how do we change this for them? Because this isn't going to cut it. Do you need a name? Uh, Knight with a K? Yeah, I'll that one. <laughs> Thanks. So this is the frustrating part. They only give us 10 spaces, so we usually have to carpool if there's an event. It's just another reminder that we're close, but we're not close. I feel responsible for taking this on because I somehow grew into being the face of women's hockey. I don't know when that happened. It just kind of happened. And it came with these innate responsibilities of trying to use my platform to motivate and inspire, but also build. Hillary Knight is leading the U.S. women's Wake hockey in a world championships over fair wages. After winning gold and returning home to a national media, players feel equitable treatment progress has come to a halt. Centers tonight. Oh. Score! 
I embarked on this journey without, you know, any tangible set paths. I've done everything I could possibly do in the sport. I've won everything. And I'm still just as hungry as I was the first day I laced up my skates. I look back at all the women who came before me and saying, okay, now we gotta go to the next level and continue this progress. And understanding I'm just like another piece of the puzzle that's gonna get us to where we need to be.